installing a P-trap for a bathtub. Any plumbing fixture will need some sort of trap so you know sewer gas can go in the building. Now this is for a bathtub and the trap I'm going to be using is this one here. It's a two inch union P-trap and this union connection will allow for access. Now in this case in a lot of other cases you couldn't just put the P-trap in because it wouldn't line up. So to fix that issue I'm going to need to use an elbow to make the pipe line up. This is just a 2 inch 45 and when I put this on it'll work out just perfectly. Now here I measured it I need a 3 inch piece of pipe and here I need a 6 inch piece of pipe. Now this is a little bit flexible because of this rubber coupling right here but these are all glue connections except for this union nut. So here I have my pipes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this elbow on and then this piece here and then I'll glue on my trap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this U-bend ready. So I'm going to actually glue this piece of pipe in, which will go like that so that way this can dry while I do all this other stuff. So I have my glue and primer. I have it in a bag right here so that way if it leaves it doesn't get everywhere. This primer especially won't get out of whatever it stains. You see how this works? You go on like that in the fitting. Always the fitting first so you can set it down without it getting dirty. And then you will do the pipe. You don't want any of that stuff getting in here. It's a little bit easier in real life when you don't have a camera in front of your face because you can see what you're doing. This should work pretty well. And now I'm going to get my glue. The glue is clear. They also have things like gray glue, but the clear glue is the best. Okay, now you gotta be very careful when you're putting these two together because you want to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. You want to make sure that this pipe is fully bottomed out in the fitting socket. And you see how that'll go like that. Now I just do this now so that way it can dry when I do all of this. Alright, now I'm gonna get all of this stuff ready. I'm first gonna glue on my 45. Apply an even amount of glue to both surfaces. All right. Now this really needs to be aligned. I really have to get this right. So I want this to be pointing uphill somewhat, but still be, you know, pretty much level. I don't want it to be pointing down. There you go. So you see, when I finish this, the trap will spill down into here a lot better. Alright, that looks to be pretty good. I don't want it pointing up or anything. So now, I feel confident in that. And now I'm going to get ready to glue in my 3 inch piece of PVC. That, so you see how that's going to work. And as you do this, you want to make sure that we test this every few fittings to make sure that it's all going to work out. In this case, it'll work out just fine. All right. Get my glue primer in this end of the elbow. Do whatever piece is stationary first. This piece is stationary, so I'm going to move on to this one. And now that I'm moving on to my loose piece, I don't have to worry about setting this down because it's the last piece that I do. This is how you want the primer to be applied. 
you don't want it to be too dry as you apply it. All right, now I'm gonna put on my glue. Let's see, here's the glue and I'm gonna put it on the elbow. All right, now I'm gonna push, twist and hold. Okay. Now it's, as I'm twisting, I'm melting these two together because this glue doesn't only glue it, it actually melts it at the same time. All right. I'm gonna put on the primer. Primer in the elbow here. I want the primer to be a little bit more wet. It helps to shake the can with the brush in it if there's not much left in the can, so that way you can disperse the glue on the brush. All right, now I gotta be very careful and very precise with this because it needs to be pointing down just perfectly. There we go. Yep, that's perfect. And you can see how this is going down. This is just the way we want it. Now, I should be able to slide this up and attach my elbow like that. So I do that now. And right there, that's an old coupling, but I'm not gonna be replacing it. So I'm just gonna clean it out, make sure that there's no grime in the connection. Wipe off the pipe, all right. And I'm ready to put this in. And I want to get this connection set aside first. This rubber coupling, that is a lot more flexible than this connection here. All right. Boom. Pops in place. Get this nut tightened down. All right. Now, I'm going to pull this up so that way I get good flow even more. And then I'm going to take a 5 16 and I'm going to tighten this clamp. Now that clamp is actually a two by inch and a half fern co-coupling. Usually this would be inch and a half and you'd have slip joint here. And in that case you use a trap adapter, but this is basically just a different version of that. I actually like to set up a lot more because it's a larger P trap, which will be a lot better with flow and stuff like that. So I don't want to be too tight with this, but I want to be enough where it won't leak. These are usually very easy to seal. I'm going to go back and make sure that this is tight. And now it's done. Now I want to give this, you know, a few minutes to set, maybe about five minutes. This glue actually sets up pretty quickly. 